Hey there everyone, Hatesh here and welcome to another video on the fun series of JavaScript. Now before we move further on this video, let me tell you and address the situation here. Now the previous video I, I saw it somewhere online. I'm not pretty sure on what platform I saw and so far I've received three emails uh, saying that hey this was first my concept, you might have seen that, that's why it gave you an idea of that. Now definitely I didn't use any of that code because I shown you that how I came up all of this with that code. So again, uh, so far three emails, but again, I give credit to all three of you. Uh, Swaroop was one of them and one guy was from LinkedIn and then some guy uh, caught something up. I don't remember exactly the name, so I give you credit for all of that. Please comment down in the video as well. I'll point that out and even if you wish, just shoot me an email with your proper name or link. I'll post a credit link in the description section as well. I don't mind it at all. In case you feel hurt, I'm truly sorry. I should have mentioned that, so uh, let's move forward. Now, in case anybody wants to take credit for this one as well, uh, I haven't seen any video like that, anything like that, but I have seen people doing these kinds of same stuff in their research work, thesis work. Uh, so in case you want to credit, take credit for this one as well, be my guest, I don't mind it at all. I do all these fun stuff uh, just to make sure students understand the concept of writing code in a better way and easier way, of course. Okay, let's move forward. So you might have seen that in variety of thesis and Amtech thesis, we do some kind of stuff which is known as sentiment analysis. One of the key concept is collecting the reviews from variety of web pages from Amazon or maybe any other website. And we try to do some machine learning and all fancy stuff there. So we usually use Python and Selenium because they are much more easier. And when you get a situation, uh, just something like this, when you have see more, uh, just like this one, and you get a link like this one, C27 reviews, definitely Selenium and Python makes our stuff much more, much, much more easier. But can we do that with a Py uh, this JavaScript? I think so, we definitely can do that. Uh, one thing here that definitely that clicking part can be a little bit tricky because we have to first click on that, wait for a few seconds, set timeout. I think that's, that's not gonna be fun. So what we are gonna do now is uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab the name of all the people who are posting these reviews. Now definitely we'll be able to just grab like five or six, how many that these are names. And in case we want to grab like all 267 names, we have to just use different approach. JavaScript is not gonna be ideal in that case. So let's just see how we can do that. So obviously I'm interested in the name, so I'm gonna just right click and click on inspect element. Okay, and there we go right straight out of the box, we can see that it has got a class of that says a-profile-name, and there we go, a name. But the problem is, uh, on what thing we are actually gonna loop through it, because uh, definitely if we want to select this entire uh, review part here, or these entire blue box, so this is the entire. Now the big issue here is we get a customer review dash, and there is a customer ID. So they are mentioning that division based on their ID and definitely don't want to loop through their customized ID. It's, it doesn't really make sense. So let's go move forward and now we are going to have this. So I think it would be a better idea if I just uh, collect all of these spans in an array uh, with a profile name. Let's see, uh, not an optimized solution, but let's just see how we're gonna do that. So uh, let's just say we are gonna have a document uh, Let's just use a get element by class name for sure. And then we are going to have this, this, and right now it just says nothing at all. So definitely I want to go back here and copy this and console.log, there we go. So profile name. Now we are having some of these stuffs. Definitely it's an array and we can see we have got eight uh, HTML collections here. Uh, can you even see that? Uh, it's a little bit hard to see in that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that and we're gonna go back onto this guy. Okay, so this is what we are having right now and we're gonna hit enter. Okay, let's see what we are having in this HTML collection. Definitely we have got a very simple profile name up here. Okay, so let's store that in a variable. Let's store that in it. So we're gonna say var and uh, let's just go for x a very popular uh, name here. We're gonna run that now. Uh, just run that in the console. So now we have got a simple array which can grab it. So what we're gonna do now is we can quickly run a loop. I don't really like to like in the write in the console. So we're gonna go for, oops. We are gonna go into a for loop. So there we go. And uh, let's just use a 
simple looping statement i is going to be equal to zero then we are going to have i is going to run all the eight time but it's better if we call it x dot uh, length and then we are going to use i plus plus okay looks pretty easy and then what we're going to do is we're going to simply console log console dot log there we go and uh, simply the x of the ith element uh, what we want is we want to simply grab inner text of it now inner html actually gives you the entire html we are not interested in that part so we're going to go ahead and grab just the inner text of it so let's just copy that and see how is it going on so there we go we have got all these things up here so that is one nice way of handling all uh, the names of it now here's a quick assignment for you what i really want you to do is instead of just printing out these names i want you to give uh, write a code in the comment section uh, just to grab all of this like whatever the text is written just go ahead and grab that definitely we don't want to read more stuff uh, nope uh, we are not interested in that we are just interested in the main part of it that for clicking on the read more and stuff definitely we do need some kind of selenium stuff uh, with the javascript it's going to be a nightmare so this was again a fun quick video about uh, having fun with Amazon on JavaScript. So now we have grabbed that. So in case you are enjoying these videos, please let me know. And in case you have any suggestion for any website where we should have these kinds of fun, uh, definitely just suggest me that website. We're going to have some tweaks and tweakings on that website. And uh, we're going to have more fun. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.